termites responded very excitedly to the honey. To lure them away, Lily just had to find a good spot to spread it on. That. The compost bin was the ideal place to move yes. the termites. Yes, so, using my Lily head. started right away. I'm just too pro, yo. She's just brushing thin air. As you do. So far, the plan had worked well. Maybe a little too well. The termites were now following Lily's spilled honey back into the courtyard. Ah! No! Don't! Get away! Okay. Ah! Strange sounds were drifting towards her. I think they might be uh, it was probably attacking the Freeman. Celebrating their new home. Yeah, so I don't think it is. Freeman had now left for good, but at least the termites had found a new home on the bench. And as if that weren't reason um, to be happy, they had been joined by one of those funny gnomes that Lily sometimes saw around. Does that look like a rib cage to, the, to anyone else? <laughs> uh, they ate. Freeman? Um... Kind of scared. Only be open. <sighs> Key. Mother Superior has tricked... <laughs> On the other hand, Lily had a tent. <laughs> Mother Superior is strictly forbidden children from playing in his cellar. On the other hand, Lily had a chore to finish, which is much more important. A shovel. A That's shovel. exactly what Lily needed. I want to see what happens when you touch yourself. It's empty. That was slightly anticlimactic. <laughs> you know? I did I not notice that window before though? Yay! You found a shovel! Oh Lily, you're the best! I know. Let's not waste any time and dig up the treasure. Just so amazing. And Edna and Lily began digging out what they thought was a treasure chest. That's quite a treasure chest. It looks like it might have belonged to some space pirates once. <laughs> so what? They were space pirates from World War II. Who cares? <laughs> What's more important is that they left us their treasure. Come on, II. let's open it. I'm so excited. Oh, a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna work. Once again, more proof that the bad reputation raw violence has is completely undeserved. Here, we certainly won't get far without it. Great! Now the device should have enough oomph to open the treasure chest. What's the matter? What are you waiting for? Don't you know how to use it? Uh-uh. Ah, don't worry. We'll find something else. Huh. A rake. Yeah, I'll do. That's one thing. Uh. Let's open. I don't have anything to open it with. <sighs> Let's try the cellar again. Just see if there's something I've missed. Um, it's the stove door. No. Alright, let's try over by the well then. I always read that as wall for some reason. Over by the wall. Let's see, uh, there's. Nothing. Here at all. So it's gotta be there, Hammer, but I don't know how to use that blasted thing. Blah! 
blast, 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 blast. Give me my... Try to shovel on it. Ah, that worked. You did it. Hmm. And what's that supposed to be? Those space pirates must have led a pretty miserable life if this was their most precious treasure. Well, at least we have a fabulous chest, and I already have an idea what we can do with it. We'll bury our own treasure. Do you have anything on you? Hmm. Uh -uh. Some wool from embroidery class? Wow, that's perfect! Our it friendship is. ribbon. The string that ties us both together, so to speak. Come on, put it in there. Now we just have to bury the chest again and... Really? Where did the brush disappear to now? Really? That's mm. Mother Superior. What does she want now? We should check before she explodes. You have... Oh, um... I don't know if that's the plane. I accidentally clicked outside the window. That took much too long for my liking. Is everyone finally here? Freeman is missing, Mother Superior. <laughs> Say nothing more! Your lack of discipline has reached a level that I can no longer tolerate. From now on, all games on the convent grounds are forbidden. And until further notice, there will be no more dessert and bedtime will be moved up by an hour. Huh. And in case you're wondering, it is the bad behavior of one specific student that has led me to take these measures. In my helplessness, I even decided to call on an expert for help. He's a renowned psychologist who Harvey. will restore discipline and order here in the convent. The examination will take place this evening. The doctor will drive the mischief out of you once the and doctor. for all. And I can guarantee I doubt this, this end doctor that I'm thinking it of. It won't be a pleasant experience. A psychological examination? Oh, Lily. I'm sure this is all about me. I desperately need a plan. Meet me near the beds. I'll need your help. You have the rest of the day off to think about what you've done wrong. I'd better not hear that you've used the time to create more mischief. And Lily, I'm expecting you in my office now. Huh, okay. I'm very disappointed in you, Lily. Can you ever do anything right? It's one of those plants from Mario. Oh. Not another word. Your constant excuses just make me even angrier. <sighs> And now just don't stand around like an idiot. Well, get a move on. Feed the cat. Can't you see how emaciated Lumpy has gotten again? Oh, stupid ch ch child! Ch 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 child! She scares me. Hey, where are you going? Feed the cat. With what? The potted plant? No? No. What am I supposed to feed her with? Stop dawdling. Feed the cat. Feed the cat. Feed the cat. Feed the cat. What am I? F <laughs> ah, Capu. I thought it was a painting. Not a dumb waiter. <sighs> Stop! What on earth are you doing? Bad, Lily. Very, very bad. You should really know that Lumpy doesn't oh. eat regular cat food. Um. <sighs> but you've disappointed me for the last time. Here's the recipe for the right cat food. Bring it to Doris, the lunch lady. It contains exact instructions for preparing Lumpy's food. Doris can also find my lunch order for today on there, too. Do you understand? Uh-huh. And now, get out. I have to prepare for Dr. Oh, Marcel's Marcel. arrival. I thought I'm it might be Harvey. Oh, well. I'm hoping that his oh, well. new method of correcting character flaws 
will save me this kind of trouble in the future. Uh, that was me imitating her. Really by the way. felt miserable. Maybe Mother Superior was right, and this character correction would make everything better. The thought made Lily shudder. She had heard stories about Dr. Marcel. Dreadful stories. Dreadful. She should tell Edna the news. <sighs> Dr. Marcel, you say? This confirms my worst suspicions. The doctor and I still have an old score to settle. I'm sure he's coming because of me. <sighs> Lily, I can't stay here any longer. I'm going to leave the convent and go into hiding for a while. There's just one catch. That guy Garrett, who's constantly lurking around, I think he's spying on us for Mother Superior. So long as he keeps poking his nose into everything, I can't move freely. Do you think you can find a way to keep him off me for a while? Uh-huh. Oh, Lily, you're such a gem. What would I do without you? Probably die. <laughs> I just idle you. And? Are you making progress? Oh, off we go. Sulker and Shy. Such imaginative names. And there's Garrett. Uh-huh. Garrett was already there. Lily watched how her slippery fellow student disappeared into the chapel. After him. After him. Okay. <sighs> Who do we have here then? Creepy Lily. How did it go with Mother Superior? Leave her alone, Shauna. Only if she admits that all this trouble is her fault. We're, 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 we're not getting any d dessert? That's right, Memphis. And we can't play outside anymore either. Is it asking too much to want to know why? Stop picking on her. You don't really think that Lily, of all people, has done something wrong, do you? She's just not cool enough for that. Exactly. She's such a good girl. She rakes, she cleans, she cooks. It's disgusting and dangerous because somehow it always ends in a disaster. Isn't that right, Lily? Ever since you came to the convent, it's been one strange accident after another. I uh, hardly dare get out of bed anymore. But none of this is your fault, is it? After all, you only do what you're told. I'm sure you're even running an errand for Mother Superior right now. Let's see what you've got there. Shawnee. Aha! Uh -huh, I knew it! A recipe from Mother Superior. Well, I think I'll hold on to it for now. Let's uh, see how right. Mother Superior likes having to wait for her food. This time, well. our sweet Lily can face the music all by herself. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're off. You're impossible. Why does he hang around? If he doesn't like it, why does he hang around with them? I can't. I don't know what's happened. There's a cursor. There it is. Lost it there for a second. Whew. To the chapel, I said. What's this? Where had Garrett gone? The chapel didn't have a second exit. As interesting as this has just gotten, I'm going to have to leave it here for now. And that's been a couple of episodes at least. So, I'll see you next time.